spooky. Good morning everyone, it's day two of the Miyazaki study tour. I just woke up and had a shower, I had a really great sleep, probably got about eight hours. It's about, it's 8.50am Miyazaki time so I'm going to head down for the breakfast service at the hotel before I miss out. And I've just opened my window for the first time and seen Miyazaki in some daylight and it's actually not a bad view. Let's give you guys a look. So I'm on the eighth floor. And this is my view. Let's go down and get some breakfast. On our way walking around Miyazaki to a Uniqlo, go for a quick little shopping and then we're going to go back, meet at the hotel at 1 <laughs> and I think we're going to a museum. So Yay. we'll see you, at, oh it's green, it's see, you, um, see you when we're at Uniqlo. We've stumbled across a huge Daiso, the biggest Daiso I've ever seen in my entire life. Table salt candy. What is that? Why would you want table salt candy? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Got my pajamas. Because I left them at home in New Zealand. Home sweet home. Oh, they tell you the room. It's nice and warm. So it's 12.45 now, I just got back from our little wee trip walking around the city in Miyazaki. We went to the Uniqlo and a Daiso and a bookshop and like a DVD game and a manga shop which was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really film in there because everyone was giving me weird looks with my camera so I didn't think I was allowed to but I got a couple of sneaky clips inside Daiso. And we're meeting at 1.30 down in the lobby to go to the um, museum later today. So. Uh, when we were in Tokyo, when I was last in Japan and we went to the museum, you weren't allowed to really video or photograph anything. There was maybe like two exhibits that you were allowed to photograph, so I'm not sure what it'll be like at this museum, but um, I'll again try and see if I can show you as much as I can. Yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. It's super beautiful. There's all these like lanterns and stuff around. You can see here, got golden stuff. I've just been told that this shrine is super important. It's one of the shrines, very first shrines for the emperor. So we're just making our way through the pathway to actually get to the shrine. This is just the pathway there. You can see the big gate back here. There's another one on the other side too. So let's head down to the shrine. Good boy. Now 
Now that we're pure, we can enter the shrine. <laughs> no bad juju here. Now was pure before. <laughs> Always pure. No, you're even purer now. Pure to the core. Yeah. Huh? This one looks pretty lucky. Oh, I do have a five hundred. <laughs> that, that one there, you put over there. Yeah. These two. Well, I got blue. And what does blue mean? Average luck. So this place is called Miyazaki Jingu. It's the first our emperor, Jimmu, is enshrined in Japan. So this is really historical and important shrine all over in Japan. Just finished up at the shrine and now we're on the way to the Miyazaki Museum of Nature. Yeah, it's yes. so good. Looking forward to it. <laughs>